Hello beautiful creatures, welcome back to my channel. Today is a how-to video. I'm going to show you how to prepare a large batch of apples for freezing. There are so many different apple recipes that you can make and if you have a large batch, let's face it, you're not Superman or maybe you're close to it, but you can't crank out all of those recipes before your apples go bad. So I like to do a huge bulk freeze deal and then I can just pull out packages as I go for applesauce or apple cider or whatever apple thing I'm feeling to make. And if you're wondering why I have a ginormous batch of apples, it's because I live right next to an apple orchard and let's just say I get my fair share of apples and uh, that's all we're going to say. My channel please hit like comment question subscribe leave a comment down below look in the description box there's always goodies in there for you guys and I hope you like the video and let's dive into the freezing of apples first step is to wash your apples I'm gonna soak them in my sink because I clearly have so many I'm gonna fill my sink with warm to cool water and add two to three cups of white distilled vinegar this is going to naturally disinfect them and remove any pesticide chemicals Once it's been about 10 minutes, I have a bowl of cool water here. I'm going to rinse off the vinegar solution and put the apples on the towel to dry. Then I'm going to peel them, remove the core, and chop them into slices. This is your final last step guys. You're gonna need 100% lemon juice. You're also going to need sugar and then a large bowl that you're going to fill about two to three cups of cool fresh water in. You're gonna be soaking your apple slices in this bowl for a few minutes. So here I have apples ready to rock and roll. They just need sliced up and the core removed. Place it in the solution, mix around a little, let them chill for a couple minutes. Then you're gonna be placing them like this, all spread out onto a cookie sheet. You can take this cookie sheet, place it in the freezer for at least four hours, but up to all night long. If you're going to be making stacks on top of each other, make sure to layer with wax paper. <laughs> 